me after playing those couple of years uh, for Larry and having you know point a game and then having a season when I was I had the uh, 94 points that one year uh, I wanted to play that type of hockey obviously and having fun and uh, with Burnsy it was different so and we didn't see eye to eye and we had a very uh, um, um, intense situation in Ottawa and uh, and honest trust me I wasn't uh, uh, a player that would go against a coach or was looking for uh, trouble or, uh, uh, you know, wanted to talk to him or, or things like that. But it just kind of, I, I was so frustrated and I was so unhappy and so, you know, I wasn't myself and I couldn't play the way I wanted to. I came to a point, obviously, through, to, throughout that season that I was like, you know, screw it. You know, I'll just, I'm just going to kind of, uh, uh, you know, mute him and just get it, uh, not even listen to him and just play my game. And in Ottawa, we had a game and he, he's, you know, if you guys remember how you, you know, visitors uh, lock when you, you go through a, a back, uh, back of the uh, bench and into the locker room and he's standing before you turn right. And he's standing there just kind of having his hands in his, by his waist and just looking, you know, his mean face like that. You know, and just looking at every guy and like looking at me, I'm coming in and, you know, uh, I'm like, start to look into his eyes and he's just looking at me and just like makes that face. I'm like, what? You're going to fucking say something or you're just going to stand there? So he comes into the locker, locker room and uh, he starts screaming at me, you know, come, you know, yelling and, uh, you know, you fucking guy, what the fuck are you doing on him, guys? You're selfish. You're not playing for a team. And I, and I honestly, I I did I I played cr pretty good uh, or great, uh, you know, the last few games prior to that. And he starts going after me. He's probably because we were losing, I think, that game or something like that. And, and so he's just trying to push the buttons again. But he went after me, and I I was I I just you had enough. I fed up. I had enough. And uh, I I would never say disrespect coach like that. Or I would oh I would come to him, you know, one on one, but not like that. So he comes to the locker room screaming and yelling at me and and um, Turner Stevenson stands up and, and just kind of goes in between me and him and uh, says, you know, shut up, fuck you, get out of our locker room, we're going to straighten it out here, you're not going to talk to him, he's, he's, you know, he's leading us, he's playing his best, and he just stood up for me. And Pat kind of was, was left and just, you know, left the, left the locker room and uh, Turner says, you know, this is bullshit. You know, let's uh, let's let's pick it up. Let's you know, let's play our own game and, and start it again. And from that point on, when I did that, when I had a little fuck you match with uh, with Burnsy, he wouldn't say much to me, but he all of a sudden started playing me a lot more. <laughs> left me alone. I, I, honestly, left me alone. I could, I could, you know, when I made a mistake or something like that, he wouldn't. Shut, you know, wouldn't wouldn't do anything, and I just thought I'd start playing way better. And we had a, from that point on, we had a really good relationship. Obviously, you know, we we went out and we won the Stanley Cup. Um, so that was just uh, all of a sudden, it was like Jekyll and Hyde. You know, uh, the way he acted uh, towards me, and the way uh, obviously our relationship uh, turned and uh, progressed. And obviously, you know, the second year he. He found out the, the, that uh, he had a uh, health situation and what happened to him, and uh, and that that was another thing that just changed him totally. He was all of a sudden start talking to us, ask about families. Was so it was just a person. I mean, he became a human, honest, honestly. You know, he's totally different person. He became a human, and uh, it was so sad and uh, so so you. You for me, it was a kind of a learning experience to know, and that that, that showed me that the coaches, they neither I don't think any of the people are bad people. They just kind of have their own way to push the buttons, their own system, their own style of coaching, and uh, yeah, some guys can communicate better. Some guys don't know how, so they do. You know, they 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 coach a different way. Some guys know the systems. Some guys know how to coach. Some guys know how to talk. Some guys are, are you know, that's why I start appreciating later on in my career uh, coaches like Pat, Pete DeBoer, you know, 
he's a smart guy, smart coach. And if he had an issue with you, he explained it. And I'm like, wow, this is amazing. So you had, yeah. so you know, it made me appreciate the coaches that were a lot more community, communicative. And, uh, but on the other hand, it made me realize that Pat, Pat was just, a, a, it was a great coach. He knew how to, he knew how to push buttons, even that he, you didn't like it. But uh, you look at the, the teams that he coached, he was successful as a, as, a, as a coach. And it's sad that obviously his life ended the way he did. Was there ever a time where you got to communicate that after the Stanley Cup win about like maybe how the how sour the relationship was, or was it just kind of like it just kind of no, sorted itself it, out and you left it at that? Yeah, yeah, we just we just left it at that. It, 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 we became it, it. You know, he 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 liked Marty Brodeur and those guys, French Canadians, and all those, those guys. So it, yeah, he 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 had a lot better relationship with them. But he opened up even to rest of us, so it was fine. And I, I, I left it. I left it in the past. It was in the past, and I left it, uh, you know, alone. And and uh, it's funny because uh, his wife, uh, she, 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 I invited her obviously for my ceremony um, when I, when my jersey was retired and all of that. I saw her at the uh, <clears throat> uh, 2000 event and all that. And every time I see her, she does a you know, I know Pat was always the the, 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 the toughest on you, you know, the, but he, he, you were one of his favorites, if not the favorite. Oh, wow. And it's, uh, yeah, so it made me, but again, that's, that's, that's the way it is. And I didn't mind the toughness. I didn't mind the hardness, but I just wanted to have, I'd like to get explanations. And uh, sometimes you didn't get that because the co- the people didn't know how to communicate, how to tell you that. So you realize that quickly. 